Hi friends. Today I wanted to share something with you and thank you so much to all of you for sending in your paintings to me. I love seeing what you're doing and I just feel like you guys are so much farther ahead than I was when I started watercolor painting. Like you guys are doing really, really well. But one of the things I keep repeatedly seeing and you're asking me about, and I, I'm hoping sharing this will help you out, is creating those different values with your paint. Um, for instance, instance, the one that I see a lot is um, you will ask, send me a painting and say, it just looks so flat. And what I'm seeing with that is because all of the color values are the same. Um, so that's what I would recommend. And I would really play with doing an entire sheet of um, leaves and doing them all different values or even flowers. So let's take, um, let's just create Let's do this. So here is a stem. And then we're going to create various leaves, okay? So point, press. By the way, I'm using a number eight Princeton today. And my cold press paper. Point, press. Okay, and I'm trying to use kind of a medium value. So they're all the same point press. Point press. Um, let's do a few more. And I'm using um, two containers of water, one to wash, one to rinse, and a tea-like consistency. So let's do another one, point press. Point press. like this. So these are really pretty. Point press. Let me darken that one a tiny bit. There we go. Trying to get them the same value. And they're all basically the same size. So what happens a lot of times too when you're learning you kind of tend to create the same size leaf. Like all of these are the same value, meaning darkness or lightness, same similar shape, same length, same size. So it's very pretty. I love these leaves. Let's create just a couple more here. Press like that. Point, press, let's do a few more here, point, press, okay, so there we go, so really, really pretty, right, I mean, for just a simple little drawing, maybe do one more right here. Point press. There we go. Okay. So, like I said, nothing wrong with this. It's very nice. But watch what happens. How much more interest and depth happens when I add in darker values of that shade. So I'm going to go into my paint, which is sap green, and pick up quite a bit of paint. 
And now look at how much darker in color that is because I've got a lot more pigment than I do water, okay? And now watch what happens when I darken a few of these. Point press, point press. Let's keep going, pick up some more pigment. So I've got just a little bit of water. Let's create a few more. Point press, point press. Okay, so look at how interesting that is now. Just that first step. I'm gonna show you more here. So using those different values, point press, like that. Already, if you just did that, look at how beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in and use a really light, light value of that same color. So I'm gonna grab quite a bit of water and get a really light value, meaning I'm just using a lot of water versus pigment. And now watch, point, press, there we go. I'm gonna make it even a little lighter, just meaning I'm adding a considerable amount of water versus pigment. Um, let's see, let's add one in right here. Point, press. Let's get even lighter. So I'm just rinsing off my brush and scraping it a bit. And let's add in another lighter leaf. Point, press. There we go. Let's add one in right here. Point, press. Okay, let's do another lighter one. Point, press. And that's still wet, so I can't add one in there. Going to rinse my brush a little bit more. Let's see, point, press, point, press. I'm gonna pick up, dab my brush off and pick up a little bit of that paint. So it's a lighter value than this one. So do you see already how much interest that's creating? Now my third tip would be, let's go into that paint. So we first added interest and depth to this greenery by adding in darker values, then a very light value, meaning a lot more water. Now let's play with changing up the length and size of these leaves. Okay, so I'm going to grab some paint here and let's do this. Point, press. I'm gonna make this one a lot shorter. Uh, point, press. So look at how short I made that one. Let's do a few more of those. Oh no, look at that. Okay, let's go a darker hue so you can see it. But I'm going to vary the shape. Point, press. Okay, so I'm creating different sizes. Point, press. Let's do another dark. Um, let's see, right 
Let's do this one darker, point, press. Just a little short leaf. Now we could do a short leaf right here in a lighter value. So let me rinse off my brush, just pick up a tiny bit of paint and let's do a shorter leaf. Still that characteristic long flow, but it's at a different point of growth. So point, press. So we're gonna make it a lot shorter, okay? Let's maybe do one here, point, press, make it much shorter. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Let's create a couple more darker because you can see those. Value, shorter leaves, point, press. Let's do some really short ones. I think that'll be really interesting. Maybe a short one in here, point, press. Okay. Um, let's do one here, point, press. Very short, but still kind of that flowy, long look. So see where I'm going with this, how much more interesting this is versus all the same color, all the same length. It really creates some fun interest. Let's do one more, maybe coming out here. So we're gonna make it shorter, point, press like that. Okay, so much more interesting. Let's do one little short one at the end here. That is a darker value. Point press, but it's shorter, just like that. Point press, shorter. So how much fun is that? Now I would actually go in and maybe add even a lighter value right there. I'm making sure all of my um, leaves are kind of going a little bit different directions, but not too much. You don't want them too crazy wonky, but how much more interesting is that? So when you're doing your paintings, keep these things in mind. Now there's other things we could play with, you know, mixing different colors in there. But for right now, I think the three ways to create more interest in your paintings is number one, let me just write it here, is use different values. Okay. Number two, different sizes because on every leaf or stem you've got different rates of growth right so of course we want to make these leaves all different and then let's see what was the other one we had different values we had different sizes I think that was it I feel like I had one more, but I can't remember. I think I had three different values. I had a dark value, um, which just means more pigment than water. So practice with that. And then we had a medium value. So let's and do this before you start your painting. So you kind of get an idea of those values. And then we had a very light value, which basically just brings it into the background. The darker values pop out, the lighter values go in the distance and then practice different um, lengths. Keep, you know, I don't know if I do on this, 
particular stem a short fat leaf because that wouldn't be representative of this type of plant. But practice doing a full grown leaf, which might be really long like that. And then practice a little bit shorter point press. So that one's just a tiny bit shorter. And then practice maybe a little baby newborn coming out. Point press like that. And that is what's going to create so much interest because what I'm seeing with you guys is you guys are doing really well drawing your flowers and, you know, um, watching my videos and seeing this, but that this is really simple. And this is a little bit more advanced, um, intuitive skills that you learn. So I would love to hear what you think about doing something like this. You could apply this to your flowers as well. And I think it's gonna make a huge difference for you guys. So happy painting, you guys. I have my class I'm going to be doing via Zoom. I'm sending out um, work sheets for all of you who joined um, with swatches and drawings and a final and um, brush strokes we're using. I'm even sharing a color palette um, for that class. I'm keeping a very small five people because I wanna be able to interact with you guys. I'll be able to see you guys. I'm so excited. I'm like really excited to meet you, keeping it to a um, very small class so I can answer your questions, help you. You can hold up and show me what you're doing. You can watch me and say, hey, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing right there? Or ask me questions and I'm really excited. The class is $45. Um, you go to Etsy and, and purchase that and you can immediately get emailed or as of Friday, you will get emailed these practice sheets that I'm creating. And I can't wait to see you guys, but use this meantime and love you guys. You're seriously the best community I've ever been involved in. So supportive, so exciting. I love my beginners. I love my intermediates. And um, I hope that I can continue to bring you value. All right, everybody, we will talk to you soon. Bye.